Hey guys, this is a continuation of our uh, last video on vectors. Um, so for this video, we're going to talk about a few different things, um, the standard basis vectors and how you can write other vectors in terms of those, and then also the unit vector, um, or how to make something into a uh, unit vector. So here we go. Um, so the first thing, the standard basis vectors are denoted as vector i, which is 1, 0, 0, vector j, which is 0, 1, 0, and vector k, which is 0, 0, 1. Can you guys see that? Yes, awesome. Okay, so those are that's our standard basis of vectors. Sometimes you'll also see them called i hat, j hat, and k hat, which would be denoted like that. Oops, I even did it over here on this one because that's what I'm used to writing them as. Uh, J hat, K hat. So you might also see them written in that fashion. Um, and they're the standard basis vectors because you can write any other vector in terms of um, a sum of these vectors. Okay, so for example, uh, if you had a vector A, that was a1, a2, a3, you could rewrite this as um, a1i plus a2j plus a3k. Okay, so if we were going to do this with an actual vector that has actual numbers, um, Let's see, let's do it over here. Um, let's say we had a vector 1, 4, negative 3. So to write this vector in terms of i, j, and k, all we would do is go, that's equal to i plus 4j minus 3k. Okay. So that's all we're looking for there. Um, sometimes we'll put vectors in terms of these and then add and subtract them and things like that, or add and subtract multiples of them. So that's another kind of problem that we want to know how to do. So for example, if uh, vector A is uh, 2i plus 3j, uh, or sorry, minus 3j plus 4k, and vector b, get marker all over myself, um, vector b we'll say is 5j minus 3k. So we might be asked something like, what is 2a plus b, or something like that. So to figure out what 2a plus b is, we would just go uh, 2 times 2i minus 3j plus 4k, and then plus 5j minus 3k, since that was vector b. And then we distribute the two, and we go 4i minus 6j plus 8k, and then we'd have still our 5j minus 3k. So then we would combine like terms, and we would get, let's see, 4i is the only i, uh, six, negative 6 and 5 would just give us minus j, and then 8 minus 3 is 5k. So our new vector would be 4i minus j plus 5k. So that's what 2a plus b would be. Okay, so that's another kind of problem that we want to be able to do. Um, then the second thing we're going to talk about in this video is called a unit vector. So a unit vector is a vector whose length is 1. So i, j, and k are all unit vectors. 
Um, and in order to make a vector into a unit vector, you want to divide by the vector's length. So, for example, um, let's say we're going to make 2i minus j minus 2k into a unit vector. Um, so it's going to have magnitude of 1, but it's going to be in the same direction that it was before. Um, so first we need to find the length. So the length of 2i minus j minus 2k. So that's just going to be the square root of 2 squared uh, plus negative 1 squared plus negative 2 squared which is the square root of 9, which is 3. So the length of this vector is 3. So now all I have to do is go and um, basically divide this original vector by 3. So 1 third times 2i minus j minus 2k. We distribute it through. And the new vector that we get that's a unit vector version of this is 2 thirds i minus 1 third j minus 2 thirds k. And there we go. Uh, so next week we'll talk about uh, vector application problems, but that's all we've got for today. Finding the unit vector and uh, Let's see, being able to write any vector in terms of our standard basis vectors, i, j, and k. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email, comment below, uh, or come to office hours. Have a good one.